Um, follow that one. Yeah, thanks. A fair few months ago, uh, it was only a few months ago, Dan phoned me and said he was going to propose to Joe. And uh, I've got to be honest, I thought he was fantastic. I'd only met the girl once, so, you know, fell in love with just the same as Dan did. I think she's great. Um, 30 seconds into the conversation, Dan then asked me to be best man. Uh, my joy went right out the window. <laughs> um, if, if, to put this in analogy, it was like being asked to sleep with the Queen. Um, <laughs> it's a great honour and a privilege to be asked, but yeah, it's a job you still don't want to do. So, that's it, that's your one joke I've done, you say. <laughs> um, if you don't know me, I'm Dan's cousin. Um, I'm the Essex lad, I'm from down south. Um, thank you. Dan's not with me. Um, I've, I've grown up with Dan and Luke like brothers, and I love them like brothers. And there's nothing that can make me happy than seeing these guys happy. And it's been a long, long time since I've seen Dan as happy as he is since he's been with Joe. So, Joe, I've just got you to thank for that, buddy. And just keep up the good work. He's, uh, he's loving it. Bless him. I don't know what you're doing, but he's loving it. Um, I've done my little bit in, uh, in trying to make Dan happy. Um, when he was asking me about the stag do, he was saying, look, I don't want to be chained up to the railings. I don't want wigs on and makeup and silly costumes and stuff, which is fair enough, you know, we've all kind of grown up and we're all past that kind of stuff. Um, so I respected that and left it as it was, but uh, there was one stag night tradition that I wasn't going to ignore and I wasn't going to leave. And uh, so at the end of the night, all the lads, we all come out of where we've been and we all got together and we all around Joe's uh, Joe and Dan's house for, uh, for one last drink and uh, we'd actually booked Dan a stripper uh, to be there. So now Dan's got a very small living room, um, it was very cosy in there, we, we kind of enjoyed it. But, um, <laughs> it, it, wasn't just, uh, it wasn't just Joe that took a bit of a thing for Dan, because uh, the stripper did as well. And uh, she phoned me up on the Sunday and said, look, you know, he's a great guy, I know he's getting married, I think she's a very, very lucky woman. Um, but she's actually given me a couple of mementos to give to you from that night to remember her by. He's got a couple of bits here for you. Sorry, Luke. He's sitting there going, there's kids, there's kids. He's um, safe, he's okay. You've done the night. Obviously, you'll recognise that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was a little bit kinky, but... Uh, <laughs> okay, um, now, I know that when she told you she was shaved, you kind of smiled, but um, it's not really what you thought. <laughs> now, obviously, the stripper, she's actually specifically given me um, her thong from the night. There's no easy way to put it. She's asked me to give you a G-string. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know, but... Uh, so, that's, that's for you. <laughs> there, was, there was one more thing that we really liked about this girl. There was one thing that made her so different against all the other strippers. And, uh, well, she's given me something to give to you. Um, she's asked if you want to put it on the mantelpiece and, you know, you can remember her by. Um, so you can remember the night and all that kind of stuff. Um, okay. And, uh, well, this is so you can remember. I know Dan's done his thank yous to everybody and uh, all that kind of stuff, and uh, Sean made a nice little welcome. But I'd like to actually welcome not just Joe, but also Ashley and Kieran into the Walker family. Um, guys, look, as a family, we're not rich, we're certainly not pretty, but you will be loved. I promise you that. Um, and if at any point, it doesn't matter what time, night or day, you've got any problems, big or small, don't phone me, there's plenty of matter. <laughs> 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 I 
had one last time, stay seated, but grab whatever it is you're drinking for me. And I know that it doesn't just come from me, but it comes from every single person here that can say, we love you, we hope you have all the love, luck and happiness in your life together. And if there are any problems, you know, we'll sort of not worry. So, guys, I'm your cousin, you're right. Yes, you're stuck with me now, mate. So, I'm going to post a toast to the lovely bride and groom, to Dan and Joe. To Dan, Dan and Joe. Joe. Thank you, thank you. Someone get me a beer. Well <laughs> done, <laughs> I've got nothing to say about the leg. I was going to say, can no, I, I borrow it? Except the bar is now open, so get legless. <laughs> 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 <laughs>